this custom frame collage trick will blow your candle loving mind. I'm going to show you how to create a custom collage using any shape in Canva. And we're also going to use two additional free tools to help with the process. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catter Day. Let's get to it. To create this effect, you are going to need a shape. Go over to the Elements tab and search for Silhouettes in the Graphics section. You're going to need something that is one solid color. I'm going to add one to my page and just enlarge it. Next, you need to add some divider lines to make those little sections for the collage. You can add the lines one by one if you would like, but a little shortcut is to actually add a little grid pattern to it instead. So go down to where you see tables and select this first table right here. It's going to add it to your page. And then you can resize it if you want to. You can make it square, rectangle, whatever shape you really want for that. And you're going to enlarge it so that it covers the entire image like that. We can change the alignment of these lines if we like. We can simply click on any one of the lines and drag them over and make them a little bit larger or smaller if we like. You can also combine sections. You've got a little tiny section here that I'm not really happy with. So I can move this line over some and I can combine these two sections simply by clicking on both of them and then right click and select merge cells. That will bring them into one selected section. So when I put images in there, they won't look too small. And you can continue to combine sections if you want to simply by selecting them and choosing merge. This one's pretty good. I kind of like the way it is. Uh, it's a little too wide of lines for me. There, there's a little too wide here. So I'm going to just go up here to the border section and I'm going to bring the line weight down just a little bit, maybe to about five. So it's not quite so fat. Now that I have the layout the way I want, we're going to download this as a PNG. So go over to share and then just click download. For the next part, we're going to use the free website picksvg.com. So go to that website and click upload a picture and just select the image that you downloaded from Canva. It's going to bring the image into the website and over on the right, it's going to show you a preview of what it looks like. We don't really like this section right here because we want these to be solid. So here is a menu option where you can select how you want those pieces to look. Go all the way down to where you see internal three and that will make your image look exactly like your original. And then we are going to download this as an SVG. We're going to need that for the next step. So just click download and it will download to your device. We're going to go to one more free website. It's called figma.com. You can create an account for free and we're going to now convert this SVG image into something we can use in Canva to create the frame. So I'm going to just click where it says design and I'm going to just drag and drop that SVG image right onto Figma. Here we go. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Click on the image and over here on the side, you see this option for fill. You can fill with a color or a video. We want to fill this with a pattern because that's what's going to allow us to pull it apart and create the frame aspect like you see in Canva. So click on the little icon for image and then just upload any image from your computer. It doesn't matter what it is as long as it's a single image. I have one that I already use for all of my frames. You can see that it's filling each of those sections. These are just image placeholders, but we need this step in order to convert it to a true Canva frame. Then you're going to go over to the export tab here at the bottom and change it to a PDF. It has to be a PDF in order to make it a frame in Canva and then click export group. It will say group because you have multiple images that are here on the page. So just click export and it will download to your device. Next, we need to go back to Canva and bring this in so that we can now use the frame. Go to uploads, 
and select Upload Files and select that PDF you downloaded from Figma. Place it on your page and you can see we have the different sections right here. Each piece is a separate section and what's inside is just the placeholder images. So to remove them, just click on any section, click on a little trash can and click where it says delete image. Don't delete the frame, just the image. And you'll do this for each of the sections that are here. Just click on it and just click delete image. Once all of the placeholder images are deleted, you have your finished frame. Now you can just drag and drop any images you would like into these pieces of the frame. So we're just gonna drag a couple. I'm using skincare as an example. So we're just gonna put some skincare products in here. You can put any image that you would like because these are now true Canva frames and you can just drag and drop any images that you would like inside all of these sections. I'm just gonna put a couple more pieces in here and I'll show you how to adjust the alignment a little bit. You may have some that don't quite fall where you would like them to be. So we're going to adjust that as well. So you can see right here, this one, it's not quite where I want it. So if you double click inside the frame, you can just drag it and put it into position. And you can do this for each of the frame pieces that you have. I think I wanna center this one a little bit. Center this one until you get them exactly how you would like them. And one more. And there is your custom collage using any type of Canva shape. One last thing I want to mention is that since each of these are separate pieces, it's easy to move them out of place by mistake. If you just click on any one of them, you can accidentally move it out of alignment. So I like to recommend that you take all of the pieces and group them together. That way they will stay as the shape they're intended. So you can resize and move the collage around without the pieces getting out of alignment. You can use this for any type of promotion. Maybe you wanna do a product promotion or a sale. You can even add video to these separate sections if you like. That would be really fun if you wanted to do a reel and put different video clips inside of here. There are so many possibilities when you're creating your custom collages. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.